St. Paul said the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Welcome to Daily Devotions at Cram and Kirk on Friday the 5th of June. Let us pray. Breathe on me, breath of God. Fill me with life in you, that I may love the way you love and do what you would do. Amen. Did you notice faithfulness was one of the fruits of the Spirit named by St Paul? And one of the ways in which the Bible celebrates God is to celebrate God's faithfulness, God's faithfulness to us and to all creation. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, said the psalmist. Your faithfulness to the clouds. Little wonder then that when the early church grew, people were encouraged to trust in the faithfulness of God, even in difficult times. Listen then to Barnabas. He goes to visit the church in Antioch, a church facing difficult times. And as he encourages, encourages them to trust in God's faithfulness, you might well wonder is our faith, is our hope in our own strength or in the continuing faithfulness of God to us, to all people, to all creation? If you'd like to follow the story, you'll find it in the book of Acts at chapter 11 and reading from verse 19. Now those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen travelled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus and Antioch and they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some men of Cyprus and Cyrene who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists, also proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. When he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for the entire year they met with the church and taught a great many people. And it was in Antioch that the first disciples were called Christians. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Spirit of God, breath of God, as we join in these daily devotions, breathe on us and fill us with gratitude. Gratitude for a Saviour who gave his life for us and for all, who now sits at your right hand to plead our cause. Gratitude for the earth which is our home, for gardens ablaze with summer flowers, for long daylight hours. Gratitude for home and family, food to eat, clean water to drink. Gratitude for the church, for the many ways our lives are blessed with faith and hope. Gratitude for the continuing faithfulness of God to us and to all creation. Spirit of God, breath of God, Breathe on us and fill us with concern. Concern for the many displaced people in our world, forced to flee their homes, frightened and stateless. Spirit of God, breath of God, breathe on us and fill us with compassion. Compassion for all who are ill at home or in hospital. Compassion for anyone worried and anxious. Compassion for those who live today in fear 
I look to tomorrow with dread. Spirit of God, breath of God, breathe on us and fill us with hope. Hope in the power of your healing and forgiving presence. Hope in the victory of your love. Hope in your faithfulness through Jesus Christ our Lord, in whose name we pray together, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now with the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Jesus Christ, our Lord.